said, Nora has been put through the ringer in the first season. She's experienced a lot of loss, yet she now has to be a caretaker and a guardian. What can you talk about that role in terms of F and his relapse and in terms of Zach as well? Well, I think Nora's going to step back a bit in taking care of Ev. You know, I think she's been through um, this relationship already many times. You know, they've been working together for a few years, and uh, she knows how to deal with someone that, um, you know, is an alcoholic and is a drinking alcoholic. So I think she's smart enough just not to um, intervene and just, you know, st step aside. And uh, but then also, you know, F's drinking just leaves his son pretty much alone during season two. So Nora has to uh, step in and actually become a surrogate mother to Zach. So that's been one of the most beautiful arcs throughout the season for her her relationship with the little one. Also, everyone's working in very close quarters this year in staying. I, I've I've seen the first episode and in staying in in Fett's loft. So. What does that kind of bring out the worst in everyone, but also do any new friendships or alliances form as a result of being together? Yeah, I mean, we, we live in very close quarters. We're all in Fett's apartment, and it's, what, five of us? And... Um, and that brings a lot of friction and you know and they're all like really strong personalities as well so it's not like you know a few like easy you know peeps like hanging around it's like this really really um, you know energetic um, kind of um, personalities so you will see a lot of friction and a lot of like everyday you know how do we deal with like everyday life when this epidemic is happening um, but also as you said there's a lot of new beautiful friendships uh, Nora develops a great friendship with Fett and uh, and you know towards the end of the season and that's that's been a lot of fun just doing working with Kevin and doing more scenes with Kevin. Is there a lot of pressure on Nora and F to possibly come up with a a solution to this problem because of their roles as being in the CDC? Yeah, of course. There's, there's. They have a lot of pressure upon themselves on, on, because they feel kind of responsible to let the the virus strain, you know, um, um, spread the way it did. So uh, the first episodes, Nora and F are going to develop a vaccine and uh, or try to develop a vaccine and see how that goes. <laughs> Where do you find the equipment for something like that in a vampire apocalypse? Well, they know, as you know, because they're CDC doctors, they go around and they know many labs in the city, and there's a few ones that are empty. So so they take over one of the labs and we have some really cool scenes in the labs because it's a very contained space so um, there's some creepy creepy scenes in the lab. How physical was your role this year in terms of dealing with these potential threats? Like, did you have to do additional training to deal with any of those scenes? No, I didn't have to do any additional training. I, I, I'm a trained dancer, so chore fighting choreographies come quite easily to me. And also I did alias for a few years, so I feel quite comfortable, you know, um, holding a gun. And um, uh, But Nora, yeah, she fights a lot more this season. I'm sure you saw on episode one, you know, she, she really... Um, um, kick ass, you know. She's that. Uh, she's there. She doesn't hesitate. She just goes for the kill because she knows it's, it's, it's the only way. Right. Well, thank you.